The worldwide total of confirmed coronavirus cases topping five and a half million Tuesday. The World Health Organization is warning the globe is still in the first wave of the outbreak and that another spike could be on the way. We may get a second peak in this wave. Speaking Monday, the head of the UN agency's emergencies program says in places like North America and Europe, infections could go up if restrictions are lifted too soon and that countries have to continue to put in place. The public health and social measures, the surveillance measures, the public health measures, the testing measures, and a comprehensive strategy to ensure that we continue on a downward trajectory and that we don't uh, have an immediate second peak. He also pointed to places like Central and South America, South Asia and Africa, where cases are still climbing. Brazil now seeing the highest daily COVID-19 death rate in the world. A projection by the University of Washington is forecasting fatalities could hit 125,000 in Brazil by early August. As numbers soar, the U.S. stepping up its travel ban on foreigners who've been to Brazil in the last two weeks. The restrictions now going into effect late Tuesday, that's two days earlier than originally planned. Russia is third behind the U.S. and Brazil for the most COVID-19 cases in the world at more than 360,000. The country reporting a record in daily deaths Tuesday of 174, bringing its total to more than 3,800, a low number critics have questioned. To India, where northern and central regions are experiencing a heat wave with temperatures topping 45 degrees Celsius Tuesday, the country setting a record in new daily cases for a seventh day in a row, bringing its total to nearly 150,000. Another international update, Spain is slowly recovering from one of the worst outbreaks in the world. That country now set to begin an official 10-day period of mourning beginning Wednesday to honor the roughly 27,000 people who've died of the virus there. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.